All right, Mr. McClatchy, send him on in. Yes, Hoke is it? Yes, sir. Hoke Colburn. Have a seat right there. Right. I've got to write this letter. Don't want Mr. McClatchy fussing at me. Oh, keep right on doing what you're doing. I got all the time in the world. I see. Now, uh, how long have you been out of work? Uh, since before last November. Long time. Well, Mr. Worthen, you try being mean and looking for work. They're high and young if they're high and colored. And they ain't high and much young, seem like. Hmm, Mr. Worthen, you're, you're all people Jewish, ain't you? <coughs> yes, we are. Why do you ask? Well, I'd rather drive for Jews. You know, people always talk about they cheap and they stingy, but they don't even say that around me. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> now, uh, tell me about your last job. Oh, yes, sir. That's what I was getting at. Uh, I once working for this woman over by Little Five Points. Uh, what was that woman's name now? Uh, 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 I forget. But anyway, uh, she president of the Ladies' Auxiliary over yonder to the Ponce de Leon Baptist Church, you know, and... She always bringing up talk about God and Jesus and do unto others. And, uh, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not sure. Go on. Well, 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 one day, Mr. Worthen, one day she said to me, she said, Oh, come on back to the back with me. I got something for you. And so we go on back yonder, and Lord have mercy. She have all these old shirts and collars beyond the bed. And they... Yellow, you know, and nasty. Like they've been stuck up in some shiffer robe and forgot about. And she say to me, Ain't they nice? They belong to my daddy before he passed. And we're fixing to sell them to you for 25 cents a piece. What was her name? Oh, now, that's what I'm thinking now. What was that woman's name? <laughs> well, 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 anyway, as I was about to say, any fool could see all them shirts, the bunch of them together, weren't even worth a nickel. And them's the people that call the Jews cheap. So I says, uh, I think about it, and I goes out and gets me another job just as fast as I can. Where was that? Uh, Mr. Harold Stone, Jewish gentleman, just like you is. Judd, live over yonder on a... Low water road. I knew Judge Stone. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> he didn't want to give me this here suit when he finished with it. And his necktie, too. You drove for Judge Stone. Seven years to the day, near about. I'd be with him still if his wife didn't. <laughs> he, he, he didn't die. His wife decided to close up the home and move back to her people in Savannah. She said to me, Come on down to Savannah with me, Hope. Well, my wife been dead by then, and I said, you know, thank you, ma'am. Because, you know, I didn't want to leave my grandbabies. And I sure don't get along with that itchy trash they got down there. <laughs> Judge Stone was a friend of my father's. You don't mean. <laughs> now, 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 Oscar say you need a driver for your family. Now, what I be doing? Running your children to school and your wife to the beauty parlor, you know, like that? Uh, I don't have any children. Oh, now, that's, that's a shame. My daughter, the best thing ever happened to me. But you young yet. I wouldn't worry none. I won't, thank you. Now, Hook, did you have a job after Judge Stone? Oh, yes, sir. I delivered milk for the Avondale Dairy through the war. One just would. Hook, what I'm looking for is somebody to drive my mother around. Hmm. Excuse me for asking, sir, but uh, why didn't she hire for herself? Well, uh, it's a delicate situation. Mm-hmm. She done run round the bend a little. Oh, you know what happened as they get on. Uh, nothing like that. She's all there. Too much there is the problem. <laughs> it's just a, it isn't safe for her to drive anymore. She knows it, but won't admit to it. I'll be frank with you, Hoke. I'm a little desperate. Oh, I know what you mean by that. <clears throat> One time I had to work, my wife said to me, she said, Oh, Hoke! You ain't going to get none of the job. And I said, what are you talking about, woman? Very next week, I was working for that woman over by Little Five, called Cahill, Miss Frances Cahill. And then I goes to work for Judge Stone. And that's the reason I so happy to hear you Jews. 
Okay. I want you to understand, my mother is a little uh, high strung. <laughs> she doesn't want anyone driving for her. But the fact of the matter is, you'd be working for me. She can say anything she likes, but she can't fire you. Do you understand me? Oh, I sure do. You don't worry none about that. I hold on no matter what way she run me. When I was up for a little boy down on the farm up making where I come from, I used to wrestle hogs to the ground at killing time. And ain't no hog get away from me yet. <laughs> All right. How does uh, twenty dollars a week sound? <laughs> sound like you got your mama a chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs>